My fellow weebs, rejoice. We have a sneaker from Vans that's gonna be perfect for you. Um, if you're a fan of Japanese culture, anime, you're an otaku, a weeb, then the uh, Vans Japanese typography pack is the sneaker you have been waiting for. You've been long waiting for this sneaker. I know that you want these sneakers right now if you're a fan of anything Japanese related. So if you guys want to cop these sneakers, I'll leave links in the description down below. And if you guys want to get some dope clothing to match these, I'll leave links to DeFace Streetwear, the sponsor for today. Use code SneakerTalk, 20% off. Check out their website. I'll leave a link down below. Bam, bam. Absolutely perfect color combination. Let's get into the review right now. Now, I don't typically typically wear a lot of Vans because Vans are not the most comfortable sneakers out there. But when Vans comes out with a sneaker like this, I can't not wear these. These sneakers are awesome. So let me get into why I think they're great. These sneakers were actually sent to me by the good people over at Full Locker. So a huge thank you to them. I would buy these sneakers regardless, but they sent these over as like a little gift for their uh, week of greatness campaign. So I appreciate you Full Locker. Thank you. Links will be towards Full Locker's website. And um, yeah, they knew I would love these. The person at Full Locker who works there for their marketing knows I love Japan and so they hit me up and they were like yo what color of the Vans Japanese typography pack do you want and so they actually made more than just one version of this shoe they also made a black version so it's like a regular van skate high but it has all this Japanese and checkerboard stuff going on there too so I'm a bigger fan of black and red and I figured I'd like this you know with the rising sun theme too black and red boom 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 and then they also made another Japanese pack one but that one has a like tiger patch stitched in to the side and it doesn't have the checkerboard print on this portion right here instead it has it on the midsole which is a little bit different in my opinion these were the best ones from the pack now there isn't a specific release date that these sneakers came out that I can find online they just sort of released like out of the blue and uh, if you do want these sneakers I would highly recommend you guys get on it ASAP and buy these before they sell out because these are selling out very fast there's many online retailers that are selling them and sizes are just being snatched up by people for the holiday season. If you're looking for a gift for somebody who loves Japanese culture and just Japan in general, and they need a new pair of sneakers, this might be a shoe that you might want to look into giving them as a Christmas present or something like that. Now, this is not your typical Vans release, obviously. This is a Vans Skate High reissue. And what reissue means is that it's gonna have some premium upgrades in terms of the quality that they use, and uh, they also like to bump up the price too to match that you know little effort that they gave the shoe. Now, typically, Vans Vans are shoes that you can just beat up and wear all the time and destroy and not have to worry about. But this is a sneaker I feel like I'm gonna baby just a little bit more than I would a regular pair of Vans because they're just so damn beautiful. So you might be wondering after looking at this shoe for quite some time, what on earth does the Japanese details, all these kanji or characters on the side of the sneaker mean? Well, I asked a, a friend who actually speaks Japanese and he says there's no actual meaning to them. If anything, this on the side right here might mean Vans, but like it's pronounced weird. Um, but other than that, there's no real meaning towards the Japanese words or characters on the side. Now, if you're a fan of the off-white uh, collection with Nike on the 10, you might recognize that they always put on quotes on the midsole, like Nike Air or Air or Air Jordan. Um, well, quite similar, bam, bam. Now the color scheme for this shoe is racing red and white and the shade of red that they use on the shoe is like really, really nice, vibrant, saturated and uh, no complaints with the shade of red. They could have easily messed these up, but they, they perfected the shoe. They perfected the shoe. With that said, let's look at some of the details of these shoes up close. So the majority of the sneaker is a canvas material that's on the side of the shoe. So you have the red canvas with the Japanese embroidery uh, on the side of the shoe wrapping all around. And then you have more canvas underneath with that checkered board print. Now, I really don't think they had to do a checkerboard print, but I think it just makes it look extra cool. So yeah, besides the canvas material on the side of the shoe, it also has some suede material, which is normal for Vanskate High. So it has black suede on the toe box of the shoe. It has black suede on the side beside the laces and then the shoelaces themselves are a white shoelace they don't include any extra laces vans could have included black laces or red laces um, but i really like the way the white laces look on them so i don't think i'm going to change them 
but if you get tired of the way these look with the white laces over a couple of months, you can easily switch out the laces and give them a fresh new look. Now besides that, they have the red Vans off the wall tag on the tongue, and the tongue again is a black suede material. And then on the very back of the shoe, the booty, it opts for a black suede material. Now on the inside portion of that red Vans tag, it also reads Vans world's number one skateboard shoe, and there's some extra suede padding underneath of the tongue, so it rubs against your ankle in a way that doesn't suck and doesn't hurt. It's a nice, nice additional touch. And final detail about the shoelaces, the aglets are actually black. They could have gone for regular white aglets on the shoelaces, but they went for black, and I just think that's a nice little touch. And then the leather accents. The leather accents on the Van Skate High aren't very noticeable, and I'm pretty sure they use like a fake faux leather, because there's no way they would use real leather on a 80 or $65 shoe. Um, they have faux leather right here on the inside panel, and that just adds some extra durability to the shoe. Now final touches, let's look at the midsole and outsole. The midsole is a white midsole with a black strap going around the edges of it. It has a bunch of characters on the side, some Japanese on the side, which I can't seem to find the translations for. Um, by the way, if you guys do know the translations for what's on the shoe, then absolutely, absolutely comment down below and I'll pin your comment but I can't seem to find out the meaning of the stuff. Um, so yeah, you have the white midsole with the black Japanese typography on top of it. We have the red Vans off the wall license plate on the very booty of the shoe, like all Vans skate highs. And then the outsole, ba-bam, we have the traditional brown gum outsole from Vans, that waffle outsole that everybody knows and I don't know if they love them, but that's the outsole that Vans has. Now in terms of sizing, comfort, and durability. Durability wise, these sneakers are gonna last you a long time. If you're a skater, you're probably gonna destroy them within a couple of months. But if you're just wearing these for daily wear, they're probably gonna last you about a year, give or take. And uh, in terms of sizing, I would recommend going your true size. I'm a size 10, and these are a size 10. Now I find that you are able to go half a size down in some Vans skate highs, and this is a shoe you could potentially go half a size down in. So if you have the luxury of trying them on in store. Try on both your regular size and half a size down and see what you like. Now in terms of comfort, I'd have to give these sneakers a five and a half out of 10. They're not the most comfortable sneaker in the world. There really isn't much technology that goes inside of it. This is one thing I would have changed about the shoe. I wish they would have given the sneaker the Vans Ultra Cush technology on the insole. The insole is just a regular Vans insole, but if they included that Ultra Cush Vans insole that is on a lot of premium releases, this would have been like a seven or seven and a half out of 10 for comfort. Anyways, there's a lot of support in terms of the ankle stability area just because it is so high top. They could have done this in collaboration with a famous Japanese artist or just something cool, um, but they just decided to release these as like a regular, not a regular, but a premium Vans release with no extra backstory. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys made it to the end of the video, let me know in the comment section down below by letting me know your thoughts on the Van Skate High Japanese type and uh, which colorway you guys like the most. Do you like the bread colorway, or do you like the black colorway, or do you like the one with the tiger patch on the side? Also, if you're a fan of Japanese stuff, I do go to Japan a lot. I have a Japanese vlog playlist linked down below on the main channel, so uh, feel free to check out my Japan vlogs, some of the best Japan vlogs on YouTube, in my humble opinion. And uh, yeah, if you if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button, helps my channel out a ton. And again, check out DeFace Streetwear, the website for the freshest clothing that will match your brand new pair of fans. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day. Peace. Oh, like a Girl Scout. Mm, I'm hungry. I could use some Japanese food right now.